Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here. We're about to dive into the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. First time we're both seeing this. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious where they're going to go with this because it's clearly meant to be a lead in for volume three, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be a nice little fun little holiday special, obviously. Um, anyway, I just realized we could watch the I Am Groot stuff after this. Mm. We could do that after this, but overall, I am looking forward to this one. I hear that Mantis gets a lot more to do in here. And they're going to call and they're make canon what people have theorized for a while, which we'll talk about afterwards. But That ought to be fun. What are you predicting? I'm just keeping an open mind to see what comes about. All right. We'll see you guys then. Hey, guys. We just got finished and watching. And I loved it. That was so good. It needed this movie for Mantis alone. Yeah, she... They really got to make her the star of this one. It was And great. Drax. And Drax. But Drax, more what made it work was him. One, his writing felt better. Wasn't dumb humor. And felt fish went on water. But it was more worth it to have her snap at him. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say? It's like, it's like that she's no longer in the space where she feels like she has to condition herself for fear. She's allowed to branch out a bit. And she's allowed to, hey... When she, yells, when she yells, she, you can tell she gets mad at him. She's just like, I bet you if he called her ugly, she'd be like, enough. But she'd be like, come on. Like, and when he called her a whore, she'd be like, enough with the ugly. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that here, but you know. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Apparently they bought nowhere from the collector. That was a bit of a surprise, but it's something that works. Also, this is continuing Peter's character, you know, the realignment of him from... Um, Love and Thunder, where he's not the man-child like he was written uh, in the Avengers movies. Mm -hmm. Which we didn't mention about that before. That was a huge problem, wasn't it? They treated yeah, him like they... such the incompetent man-child where you're wondering, how is he the leader of the team now? Mm -hmm, where it's like they'd sort of misunderstood a lot of, like, the sort of, well... Yeah. The trauma in his own upbringing that led him to being the way that it what he was. Exactly. And they emphasized it too much... And it, this brought him back to, uh, and it went, we'll get to it in a little bit, but he's feeling bummed because he still hasn't found Gamora in all the years. Understandable. And Mantis decides he doesn't have any family yet, cause, oh, especially because um, Car and Carglin, Cargan told a story about Yondu seemed to destroy Christmas. Mm -hmm. That was great seeing that flashback, wasn't it? Yes, in nice animated form, too. Because there was no way Rooker was going to turn to put it back on just for a little bit. Mm hmm For my rights. But it worked. It was nice. And it was sweet. And, you know, when we saw the, in the animation, me. But then she decides with Drax, let's go and find him someone. Someone to, you know, as a Christmas gift. And so they decided, let's get Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Tying it back to Gamora. Yeah. And so they decided, like, he's a great hero. So let's go to Earth. Which then, now of course I also love how he keeps focusing on these snacks and everything. Like, no one seems to care about them but you. But you could get them that. Enough with the snacks, Drax! Mm -hmm. Again, I loved her snapping like that. Just whenever she snapped, I was in stitches. Yeah, it's just like, now I can actually express all of my pent up progression without fear of retribution. Exactly. And she also knows that Drax's not going to pay offense. Mm -hmm. It's going to go right over his head. Because that is, one, I think, one of the things that both was annoying but endearing is that he's not going to get mad now if he doesn't get what you're saying. He's just going to be like, okay, I guess you didn't get my meaning. You know, mm -hmm. he kind of rolls with it. Have you noticed that? Yeah. But, again, this one was better written here. It was mm -hmm. way better written here. And then once they come to Earth, Drax, for, I love it. You did remember turning the cloaking device on, right? Yeah, you just changed it in front of me. No, I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> but yeah, they're coming to find Kevin Bacon, who you could so tell he was having a blast. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, he was having a lot of fun playing this. Yep. Um, They show up there, and they end up coming to where the, wa the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where there's people who are like, she sees a guy dressed as Cap's like, Steve! <laughs> Why did he run? And apparently a go-by killed Drax's cousin. <laughs> That was cute, though, wasn't it? It's like, yeah. Uh, everything about this, one word, cute. Yeah. Okay, you talk more. You talk more. You can summarize. You, uh, 
Yeah, it's basically, they wind up getting a lot of inadvertent money taking pictures with people who just think they're cosplaying the characters on Earth. Mm -hmm. And eventually they wind up going out to a bar and attempt to find Kevin Bacon because, well, they don't necessarily know what the intrinsic... No, no... Well, they don't know he's an actor. They don't know he's an actor, yeah. And they think everyone who knows who he is would be so famous. They don't. Mm-hmm. And then once she finds out there's a map to the stars... This is where we're going to find out how she's able to abuse her powers. Yeah, and it's just like, we're now starting to, like, yeah, now... Manipulate, and and she implied she could do it a little bit, but we're now we actually see it fully, where she actually, like, touched someone, like, you will give me your money for the... Uh, you will give me the map. I'm not going to give you the map. You will give me the money. Give the money for the map. Because, <laughs> like, it can only do so far. It cannot force her to give the map, but it will say, give me money. Mm-hmm. And then when they make it to Kevin, oh, uh, oh Lord, it's just... It is a whole comedy of errors in the he best way. He has no idea what's going on, and they start coming in. And then, one, Mantis is nose parkour. Yeah. And how to fight. And she ends up grabbing a candy cane, which leads to a great bit, because he grabbed a little man, mm -hmm. and he ends up dropping it. It's like, because I was re um, responsible enough to hold on to it. <laughs> it was like, what's more important, Kevin or the little man? <laughs> little man? No! <laughs> Okay, again, if Drax was more like this in the second movie, I wouldn't have had a problem. Yeah. Um, but, but, yeah, they eventually, then she also takes out a bunch of cops, mm -hmm. Jen, and she only counters them, and then does sleep, sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then, also, does this look like a, can he call it says the candy can looks like a little man? Does this look like a man to you? No. <laughs> I saw it now. My friend's just an idiot. <laughs> Again, just some of her dialogue, it's just, Pom is having a time of her life. Mm -hmm. And then they start messing with Kevin's mind. Now, the first yeah. one I understood, keep him chilled. That made sense, didn't it? And then they kind of just go into much more dubious but territory. But they first, they rob an entire Christmas store. Oh, yeah. Drax has a sweater and everything. The entire place is filled. I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then, but then they realize he's an actor. Apparently, the Guardians hate actors. Mm -hmm. Except for Peter, of course, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently they all think um, guard, uh, actors are full of shit. Hmm. And as uh, they make him back, be like the, act like the Kevin Bacon that, that doesn't suck. <laughs> then they make it to, make, then they make it to nowhere. And that was the moment where I'm like, if they had done just this, Peter would have accepted it. Mm -hmm. Am I right? It's like, if yeah. they had done just this. Yeah, and then you bring in the Kevin, whole, whole... Yeah, they bring Kevin in. He snap and um, Peter snaps, rightfully so. Again, showing that if this was the man child they showed him in Avengers 1 2, he would be like, oh my gosh, thank you guys. No, he's like, just like, this is human <laughs> trafficking. It's just like, do you, it's just, do you. Everyone else is going, oh, oh you're group. Oh, now you say I have a bad idea when you were willing him out in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, but then once they, and also like, you use your mind powers, get him back to normal. And then I love, he's like, calm down, calm down. Just look at me, look at me. Again, just seeing Peter Strong all day, you're like, mm -hmm. you know, him talking him down. And he's like, don't run, don't run. Ran, he ran. Go get him. Don't kill him. I'll get you, Bacon. Him, that be the <laughs> And But then when Cargan uh, and talk to, um, you know, explain everything to him about, you know, Kevin about everything, I love this, like, you saved the town by dancing. He um, saved the town and the galaxy by and dance for real. You can mm -hmm. go tell then Kevin's like, huh. I Maybe he's fun. not real, but he can inspire people to be the real thing. And save our galaxy and everything. So he decides to stick around, showing off his singing chops and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we everyone gives gifts. That'd be like, got Bucky's arm for a rocket, <laughs> pulling up a great joke. That was one of the things I liked. You could tell they understood, they understood Rocket, at least, yeah. in, in Nebula, in the Avengers. Mm -hmm. It was Dra and Gamora. It was Drax and Quill that they did not understand in the Avengers movies. Mm -hmm. But I did love how, how James just played up on that joke of, like, that Bucky's arm? <laughs> and then she revealed, finally, I'm your sister. Peter was so happy. That yeah, was... it's just like, that was the gift that, he, that was what would have been the best gift of all. But of course, now, I don't blame her for not thinking otherwise. Because it's just like, there it's was ego. a huge, it's ego. There's a huge amount of trauma around that guy. And it's just like. And he might hate her more if he found out. Yeah, it's just like, you can completely understand where she's coming I mean, from she's, here. she's socially inept. 
She's mm -hmm. totally stunned. And of course she's going to assume that. And Drax isn't going to help me. And I doubt she'd tell Rocket because she'd know Rocket would blab. Mm -hmm. Nebula wouldn't understand. The only one who could have would have been Gamora. Mm -hmm. And obviously well, she's not around. Am I, am I right? Like Gamora probably would have been the only one to be like, tell him. He needs to know. Drax, like I said, he'd be like, you're right. Don't tell him. Yeah. So it's just like. And um, I guess that Rocket, Rocket would have been like, I think Rocket would have agreed with her, don't you think, if he had told? Something like that, yeah. Groot would have blabbed. Groot would have blabbed. And Nebula, I don't think, I have a feeling she and Nebula don't get along. I get that vibe, you know? Yeah. Probably because she's too pe um, peppy for um, Nebula. Oh, ne but Nebula was cute, it's cute here. But again, it's just mostly about those two. But this was something that was really needed mm -hmm. for her. And I think this was gone. Oh, actually, no, we didn't mention the other thing. Turns mm -hmm. out... Yondu did not destroy Christmas for him. No. They just kept it on the down low. Yeah. To that, Peter gave him his first knickknack. Yep, and then Yondu gave him his, his gun. first guns. The two guns we've seen him use ever since. And this shows that James was holding on to this for years. Yes. <coughs> and again, so, so good. So very good. And it was not going. We saw more of Cosmo, the dog. Mm hmm. That was sweet. And like I said, apparently the collector survived being attacked by, um, when nowhere was attacked by Thanos. But how they got it, given how devastating it was, they probably got it on the cheap, I bet. Yeah, it's just like no one else wanted it, so we can buy it and then refurbish for our own uses. They probably got a lot of money, of course, but again, this felt like a good lead-in. A good setup and a good, again, giving us more with Mant. Mantis needed it more than anyone else. Mm-hmm. And having it be, again, that she's Peter's sister, which we always had the inkling yeah because that would just make the most narrative sense why I mean, why would ego care besides um, her abilities yeah like why would he save her because he didn't know about her abilities at first mm -hmm. he said i was a larva mm -hmm. but again palm because most people agree she was the wasted part of two mm -hmm. but this just made up for so much mm -hmm. but that's all we got here. We're going to probably check out the I Am Groot shorts next. And then we were going to do the Suicide Squad maybe another time. Yeah. But until then, we'll see you on the next one.